Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Mike, and today I'm going to show you guys how to apply texture to your text in Zara 3D7. Alright, so as we see right here, I have changed the mic into art, and I don't know, I just wanted to do that. And so I'm going to apply art or texture to this text. So I'm going to go select my texture option, and similar to the colors feature, the color options, you have the text, the overall the actual text faces the face of the text the side or just the background so if you want to add a background image to this um project you could so for this one i'm just going to do text faces and you're going to select uh hit that texture option now this is one i previously loaded um so i'm going to go ahead and load texture now the ones that come with it is like low quality really you know just really low quality everything looks all blurry so i recommend something that's at least 90 um 900 by 900 or you know something that's a cool pattern that you can use that's a like a large scale so that way it doesn't look too bad on the actual uh the actual text now you can scale it so it, if it is too big of a pattern you can size it down like that and you can just make it however you want it to look. You can make it extremely big, or extremely small. You know, like that. So that's one texture. You can actually input your own desktop wallpapers in here. So uh, let's see. Let's see if I do. Uh, I don't have any cool pictures, but let's say if I want to input a picture of myself in here. So if I put a picture of myself and a text, it's going to pattern me in there. So as you can see, I'm in a, the text and I can scale my picture up or down, you know, like that. And, uh, and that's how you do it. And that's how you apply texture to your text. Now, you could go ahead and to Photoshop and create your own textures by just applying a pattern overlay to a background and outputting it and then loading it. Now the textures this um, program accepts is a BMP, a GIF, icon, or JPEG and PNG. Now it doesn't say it has to be a certain file size, but on you know I would keep it as a as as a small file so it doesn't take long to load or export. And that way it will save you time and, you know, just, you know, just practice of good um, exporting skills and things like that. So I hope this was a great tutorial for you guys on how to customize your text in Zara 37 and more tutorials to come. In fact, we're going to be doing animation in the next one. So I hope you guys enjoy that one. So it's me, Mike. Catch you guys later. Peace.